¿Eh? Gracias. Bienvenido, Lee. El teacher. Ya no va a hacer caso. Allá por ahí ventando. Hello. Lo vieron por las puertas. Ah, sí, entró. <risa> Ey, ¿quién va entrando? ¿Quién va entrando? ¿De qué hablo? Yo. Ah, ¿me? Really? Yeah. All right. Yeah. Yeah, man, I was a little late. I'm just getting home. And I was in a hurry. And I was like, the traffic was uh, like a nightmare, you know, like, ah, horrible. But anyways, the good thing is that we came on time, all right? That's the good thing. Uh, so how was, how was yesterday for you people? How was your day off? How was today? How was everything? Um, so good. Not kind of freshy today. My work is very estresante. ¿Cómo se dice, teacher? Stressing. Stressing, yeah. Stressing, really? Ah, yeah. But as always, right? Yeah, I mean, it's yeah. like kind of a stressing like all the time. Ah, but such is life, you know. Let me see. Do we have new people today? Uh, let's see. Let's see. Ah, yeah, I mean, Yasmin Melanie. Hi, Yasmin. Hi. Ah, yeah, I mean, you didn't show up uh, uh, in the previous the previous video conference, right? In number one. It's, it's good to see you here then. Uh, really? You were in the hospital? Oh, but you feel you feel better now? Mm. Now, nah, okay, all right. Ready. Nah, but you're ready, right? Nah, okay, that's that's pretty cool. That's what I wanted to listen. Okay, so let me see. Hey, how many how many of you right now? Let me see. Hey, let me give information in WhatsApp. Atentos. <laughs> to whom, man? Eh? To whom? I mean, uh, ah, the chat that I was reading. Yes. Eh? Me, and, me uh, and you check the the, the WhatsApp. Ah, uh, uh, yeah, yeah. I think I checked when I was when I was coming. Hmm, pretty interesting that. All right. Ah, Jasmine, you are not in the group. Okay. All right. G give me a second. I, I got the link in here, uh, so I'm gonna send it to you so you can join to the WhatsApp group. Give me a second. All right, give me a second. So that way you can join to the group right now. There you go. Uh, so you have the, the link in there in the chat. So just click on it and it will, you know, like take you to, to, to the WhatsApp and then you can join it to, to, to the group, right? Okay, so set down all these things. Let's start with the things that we got today because we have a lot of information to share. Besides that, we have a previous practice. If you remember, we did not finish the practice that we were doing last class with the conversation. So today we are going to finish that. All right. All right, that's cool. That's really cool. So, uh, teacher, one question. Yeah. Uh -huh. uh, number page, the the workbook. Ah, uh, from the manual that we were working. Uh, yes, that sir. was on page. If I'm not grown, that conversation was on page nine. We're gonna start mm -hmm. with the page nine. That okay. conversation, right? And then we're gonna move on, right, to the okay. other ones. Yeah. All right. Okay, I'm gonna start with the attendance list, and then we can start with uh, with the class. All right. Uh, right. Alfredo Alexander. Present teacher. Okay. Very good. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Milcar Cañengues. Present teacher. Okay. Very good. Carlos Gualberto. Carlos here, Carlos Gualberto. No. Okay. No here yet. Domingo Alexander. Present teacher. Okay. There you go. Ever de Jesus. Present. Okay. Fatima Alejandra. Present. 
Ah, Fatima is here. Hi, Fatima. Hi, hi, teacher. Good to see you again, Fatima. Thank you. Ah, ah you didn't show up last class, right? Hmm. All right, but it's good to see you, Carla. I mean, and, uh, and Fatima. Carla Fatima. Cool. Gilmar Cruz. Let me see, Gilmar. Ah, no, he, he comes late. Jonathan Alexander. Nah. Jorge Elvir. Present. Nah, okay. Jose Matias. Here. Okay, very good. Carla Benacer. Present. Okay, good. Marco David. Present. Nah, okay, excellent. Maritza Alcira. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Anna, Marisa has not changed yet. Marlon Alberto. Marlon Alberto, no here, all right. Mauricio Alexander. Hmm. Hey, okay. Romeo Alexis. Mm -hmm. Okay. Hi, Romeo. Hi, Dicho. Tanto tiempo de no vernos, Romeo. Yeah, yes, I'm button. Yeah, yeah. button. Yes. It's good that you can see me, but I cannot see you. Hmm. Okay. All right. Cool, Romeo. Let me see. Where is it? Okay. Romeo, let's see, Rosa del Carmen. Ah, no, Rosa has not connected yet. Vanessa Odette. Marlon is there. The... I am in. I am in. Hi, Marlon. Ah, yeah, he's, he's there. Hi, good evening. Good evening, Mr. Marlon Alberto. Okay, there you go. Let me see, William Eduardo. Is it William? I, uh, hi, William. Okay, good. And Jasmine Melanie. Present. Okay, very good. Jennifer Noemi. Present. <laughs> okay. Al fin. Al fin la lista. Aha, yes. Good to listen to you because I cannot see you, huh? Ah, okay. All right. Yeah, yeah, I mean, in that way you cannot fall asleep, right? Y de esa manera no está Jennifer. Hi, are you there, Jennifer? No, por eso, justamente por eso. Y estoy como por el quinto año. Y estoy como por el quinto año, right? You remember that? That was funny. No, pero eran días de trabajo, right, Jennifer? Sí, exacto. Yeah, I mean, it was like stressing days. But you're off, yeah, right, Jennifer? You finished work? No, aún no. Me hace falta. Este mes. Uh, uh, no, 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 no. But I mean, uh, with the students, because the students finish uh, ah, in October, sí. the end of October. Sí. Esta semana, esta I mean, semana. this is just, uh, you know, paperwork, and that's it. Right? Ah, exacto. Mm -hmm. nah, I mean, this is not that yeah. strange. I guess, mm -hmm. I guess, right? <laughs> okay, good. Natalie Vanessa, I mean, Natalie is still on vacations. Uh, Stephanie Lisette, yeah, I mean, still on vacations yet. And William Alberto. William, William, nah, not here, right? Okay, let me see who else has joined. Ah, Maritza, hi, Maritza. Yeah, has to Good you. evening. Good evening. I'm at place you here in the attendance list. Just give me a second. Okay, right, people. So if you remember, uh, we were missing a couple of conversations related to what we were discussing from the previous module. So we are going to start with that, okay? Hmm. Uh, if you remember, we just uh, started practicing two pairs of people with the previous conversation related to the previous topic that we were doing. But what are we going to do right now? We're going to start with a short feedback 
You're going to start with a short feedback from that topic. And then we are going to complete the conversation as practice that we were missing, okay? All right, let's start with that. Can somebody tell me what was the name of the topic that we were discussing last class in video conference one? What was the topic? On one people. Was word to mark steps in a process. All right, words to mark steps in a process. Okay, there you go. Amilcar, can you mention one of those words? Uh, words about the conver last conversation? Yes. The words that we were practicing uh, that says like words that we use to mark steps in a process. Okay, the first, for example, uh, Mark say, first we had a thick layer of chocolate. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. In a second uh, step to the process, we had a thin layer of sliced almond. almond. Now, okay, all right, all right. Those were the examples that we were providing, okay. Uh -huh. So the keywords are there. Uh, first, second, you might say third, right? Then, after, later. right after, later, and right. we can include finally, next, right? Next. next, exactly, we can use finally. next. Finally. Exactly. Finally. Let's remember for every for every activity that we do, we mark steps. For example, for this class, we have steps, right? What's the first step that we got to do? Ah, first, log in to Zoom, right? To enter to the class. Second, <laughs> you do it first, the teacher do it next, right? Uh, second, uh, pass the attendance list, for example. Third, make a review from the class. Next, uh, start with uh, what? Start with the topic explanation. Then it's exercise. Later it's a conversation. And finally, just an activity to finish, right? That's, a, uh, that's a one a way to, you know, like mark the steps for a process in this class. That's pretty much what we got, right? So in this case, if you remember, we were missing some examples in the conversation, as I told you. That's what we are going to do right now. It started raining in here. Okay. Anyways. Si no me escucha muy bien, me lo hacen saber, por favor, because in here it started raining a lot. So, but let's see what happens. All right, from here, from the ones that are here, uh, which ones were the students that were participating in last class in the conversation? I just remember Alfredo. Yes. Yeah, you were one of them. Domingo uh, was another one, right? Who else, who else participated in the previous class? Yo no participate. Yo quiero participar. Okay, very good. Yeah, I mean, everybody's going to participate. Just, uh, okay, from the, from, from the people who participated, I just got Alfredo and Domingo, right? Marco, do you participate? All right. Yeah. Did you? Who do you participate with? Sorry? Uh, Carlos participó conmigo. Carlos. Ah, ah, it Carlos was Alfredo. Con Domingo. And Domingo? With Carlos. Marcos. With um, Marco. No, okay. No, All right. I, um, I am able. Marco's not here, right? Okay, very good. So in this case, I'm going to project the presentation, I mean, the, the conversation, so we can uh, continue with this. Yeah. All right. Can you see my, my screen? Yes, yes. Okay, yeah. perfect. Yes, your screen. There you go. So this is the conversation that we were practicing. Okay, I'm going to read it once. La voy a leer una vez más. Just, just for you if you have forgotten any, any word. And then we can start the practice, okay? 
All right, this is, remember, this is a conversation between Anna, Mark, and Diana, okay? And it says, Anna, Mark, will you explain us what the manufacturing process is? And it says, Mark, absolutely. This is how we make our top seller. First, we add a thick layer of chocolate. Second, uh, we add a thin layer of sliced almond. And it says, Anna, sounds great. And then, and it's a smart. Finally, we add ginger. ginger. And it says, Diana, but what about people who are diabetics? Can they eat it? And it's a smart. I'm not going to lie. The amount of sugar is too high. Mm -hmm. We consider those customers and we have other products. We have a candy bar and a bubble gum with zero sugar content. It says, Anna, great, let's take a look. Okay, so this is the conversation that we were practicing, right? And now we are going to put them into practice as a general one, right? Okay, in this case, Jose Matias, you didn't participate last class, so I want you to read this conversation with Ever. So Ever didn't participate that one, right? So Jose, uh, start with Anna, and uh, Ever is going to act like Mark, okay? Do it like in a sequence, as we did it in the, in, in the past class. Mm. Me? Yes. Anna or Mark? Yes, no, Anna. Anna, okay. Yeah. Go for it. Uh, Mark, will you explain us what the manufacturing process is? Absolutely. This is how we make our top seller. First, we add a thick layer of chocolate. And second, we add a thin layer of sliced almonds. Sound right. And then? And finally, we add a ginger. Teacher, Diana right. can get... Okay, continue, continue. Just continue with the conversation, Jose. No problem. Okay. okay. Uh, but what about people who are diabetic? Can they eat it? I'm not going to lie. The amount of sugar is too high. We consider those customers and we have other products. We have a candy bar and bubble gum with zero sugar content. Great. Let's take a look. Let's take a look. All right. Very good. Thank you, Jose. And thank you, Ever. Thank you. Now, Carla, I want you to practice with Maritza. Okay, Carla, okay. take the role of Anna and Maritza is going to follow up as Mark. Okay, uh, Mark, will you explain use weight the manufacturing process is? Absolutely. This is, this is how we make our top seller. First, we are a thin layer of chocolate. Second, we add a thin layer of a slight almond. Sounds great. And then? Finally, we add ginger. But what about people who are diabetic? Can they eat it? I'm not going to lie. The amount of sugar is too high. We considered those customers and we have other products. We have a candy bar and bubble jam with zero sugar content. Great, let's take a look. 
Take a look. All right, very good. Thank you, Carla, and thank you, Maritza. Okay, thank you. now let's see. I'm gonna put Marlon and uh, Amilcar. Yeah, Amilcar didn't participate last class. All right. So Marlon, okay. take the role of Anna and Amilcar is going to be Mark. Okay. Mark, would you explain us what the manufacturing process is? Absolutely. This is how we make our stop seller. First, we, we add a thick layer of chocolate. Second, we add a thin layer of sliced almond. Sounds great. And then? Finally, we add a ginger. We add ginger. Okay, very good. Diana. Yes, you, continue. You, Marlon. You, Marlon. Just follow up the conversation. Okay. But what about people who are diabetic? Can they eat it? I'm not going to lie. The amount of sugar is too high. We consider those customers. And we have other products. We have a candy bar and bubble. Bubble gum, Bubble gum. Uh -huh. with zero sugar content. content. Great, let's take a look. Okay, great, let's take a look. All right, thank you, Milkar, and thank you, Marlon. You did it excellent. By the way, Marlon, you were one of my students in the previous module, right? Yes. If I'm not wrong, it was, it was module, module one, right? Beginner? I think, in the yeah. first one. Uh -huh. You work with Carlos, right? You were in the yes. same group as Carlos. Ah, okay. We started at the same time. Yeah, man, los dos sobrevivientes. That's pretty cool. <laughs> it's good to have you here, it's man. The <laughs> yeah, I mean, the only ones. All right, that's, that's excellent. Fatima, I know you didn't, you didn't, you didn't show up in the last class, but I want you to participate, all right? And you will do it with Jonathan, okay? Fatima, you will take the role of Anna and Jonathan is going to be Mark. Okay. Mark, will you explain use what the manufacturing process is? Absolutely. This is how we make our top seller. First, we add a thick layer of chocolate. Second, we add a thin layer on a slice almond. Sounds great. And then? Finally, we are ginger. But what about people who are diabetic? Can they eat it? I am not going to lie. The amount of sugar is too high. We consider it to customers and we have other products. We have a candy bar and bubble gum with zero sugar content. Constant. Great. Let's take a look. All right, let's take a look. There you go. Thank you, Fatima and Jonathan. You did it excellent. Let's see who is going to help me out right now. Ah, Jasmine. I know you didn't show up to the last class too, but I want you to participate with uh, Hilmar. Ah, Hilmar is coming. Hi, Hilmar. Always late, right? <laughs> No, no, no. Sorry. <laughs> just, just kidding, Hilmar. All right, Jasmine is going to take the role as Anna, and uh, you, Hilmar, uh, Mark. Okay. Okay. Mark, will you explain use what the manufacturing process is? Absolutely. This is how we make our top seller. First, we add a thick layer of chocolate. Second, we add a thin layer of this slices almonds. Sounds great, I think. Finally, we add ginger. But what about people who are diabetic? Can they eat it? I'm not going to lie. The amount of the sugar is too high. 
we consider those customer and we have other products. We have a candy bar and bubble gum with zero sugar content. Yes, let's take a look. All right. Okay, very good. Thank you, uh, Jasmine and uh, Hilmar. Okay, let's see who can help me out with this. Besides you. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Carlos, did you participate last class? All right. No, you didn't. What did you? Yes, teacher. Mm -hmm. Okay, all right. Yo no he participado, teacher. Okay, very good, William. You will do it with Mauricio. Yeah, I mean, all right, William, I want you to take the role of Anna and Mauricio will be Mark. Okay. Mark, will you explain us what the manufacturing process is? Uh, absolutely. This is how we made our top seller first with add a thick layer of chocolate. Uh, second, we add a thin layer of slice almonds. Sounds great. And then? Uh, finally, we add ginger. But what, a, what about people? We are diabetic. Can they eat it? I am not going to lie. The amount of sugar is too high. We consider the task customers and we have other products. We have a candy bar and bubble gum with zero sugar content. Great. Let's take a look. All right, great. There you go. Thank you, William and Mauricio. Now, Jennifer. All right, Jennifer, I want you to help me with. Uh, 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 Jorge, do you participate? All right. Okay. Yeah, with Jorge, Jennifer. So, Jennifer, you will act as Anna, and uh, Mark is going to be Jorge. Perfect. Mark, would, would you explain us what the manufacturing process is? Absolutely. This who way making out the top seller. First, we add a thick layer of the chocolate. Second, we add a thin layer of the slime almonds. Sounds right. And then? Finally, we add ginger. But what about people who are diabetic? Can they eat it? It it, it. <laughs> teacher. Can they oh, can, can they eat it? Eat it. Can they eat it? <laughs> yeah, so I in know this case, in this case, uh -huh, in this case, cuando uh, se pronuncia pues, rápido y de, 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 you know, like joining, la T se convierte en R. Eat it. If you make it, if you're going to pronounce it slowly, it's eat, eat. Okay. Okay. I'm not going to lie. The amount of sugar is too high. We consider it thousand customer and we have other products. We have a candy bar and bubble gum with zero sugar content. Great. Let's take a look. Thank you, Jennifer. See you next time. <laughs> Thank you, Jorge. <laughs> okay. All right. There you go. Thank you, Jorge and Jennifer. Uh, now, uh, Vanessa, are you there, Vanessa? Yes, teacher. I am. She's there. All right. Rosa, are you there? My daughter. Rosa. Yes, teacher, right there. Uh, so, Vanessa, I want you to be Anna and Rosa. It's going to take the role as Mark. Teacher. Yes. Yo no estuve. 
yo no estuve en toda la clase el lunes, así que si me equivoco, me corrige. Yes, of course, I will. Ok. Mi Ana, teacher. Ajá, yes, me dice. Ok. Mark, would you explain us what the manufacturing process is? Absolutely. This is how we make our top seller. First, we add a thick layer of chocolate. Second, we add a thin layer of a slight amount. Sounds great. And then? Finally, we add ginger. But... Oh, no. Yes, yes, continue. Continue, Vanessa. Okay. But what about people who are diabetic? Diabetic. Can they eat it? I am not going to lie. The amount of sugar is too high. We consider to customer and we have other products. We have a candy bar and bubble gum with zero sugar content. Great. Let's take a look. Okay, very good. Thank you, Vanessa. And thank you, Rosa. You did it excellent. Uh, let me see. One person is missing. Hmm. Let me see who's missing. I am in Romeo. Romeo, are you there? Yes, teacher. Okay, perfect, Romeo. Okay, since Romeo is missing, I need a volunteer to help me out with Romeo because Romeo is the last one. Uh, that is participating, but I don't have any couple with him. So me. All right, Jose. Me, Mark. Okay, there you go. Go for it. Okay. All right, start Jose and then Romeo. Mm -hmm. Mark. Yes, you start. Mark, will you explain is what the manufacturing process is? Absolutely. This is how we make our top seller. First, we add a thick layer of chocolate. Second, we add a thin layer of slight almonds. Sounds great. Then, finally, we add ginger. But what are about people who are diabetic? Can they eat? I'm not going to light. The amount of sugar is too high. We consider those customers and we have other products. We have a candy bar and bubble gum with zero sugar, sugar content. Great. Let's take a look. Okay, very good. Thank you, people. Thank you. So we have ended up with this short previous conversation related to the you know like the topic that we were practicing last class okay i'm going to stop sharing this presentation and i'm gonna put the one up front today okay related to the video conference number two just give me a second i'm gonna put it in here ah what did i do it okay today we're gonna have a very uh, interesting topic because it's something uh, not that difficult to you because it's a structure that we have been practicing in the past, okay? It's a word that we can manage like very, very, very easily. And you will see that it is not a big, a big, you know, trouble to you. So this is the video conference number two. And today's topic is going to be how to use what clauses. What clauses? That's the topic for uh, the rest of the class, okay? What are we going to do in this case? Now we're going to use what, not for questions, but for classes or expressions. So what does it mean? It means that the word what, we cannot only use it, you know, as a question, as the beginning of a question. We can use it also 
to make or create expressions, okay? Expressions that not precisely are questions, right? So what? Todos sabemos que what, básicamente lo usamos al principio de una pregunta, right? Like, for example, like, what do you do? What are you going to do? If it is simple past, what did you do? But in this case, what? We are not going to study like question at the beginning of a question. We are going to study it as expressions, okay? Now it is not going to take the role as a question. It is going to take the role as an expression, okay? Let's start with a little bit of class agenda, all right? The most important things to show up in this class. The review from the previous module, something that we did uh, previously, the conversation practice, the missing practice that we were uh, in uh, some minutes ago. Then what class function, we're gonna start the function of uh, the what class. Then we're going to provide some examples. After the examples, we're going to provide uh, and practice a conversation. And after the conversation, we are going to do a series of exercises in the manual, okay? So this is pretty much what we have for uh, this class. As I told you, and as a reminding, let's remember, if you don't understand something that probably I am explaining, please turn on your microphone and let me know, okay? I don't know if you like can hear me very clearly because in here it's like it's kind of raining so hard and uh, I barely listen myself. So can you listen to me clearly? Yep. Yes. yes. Okay. Excellent. Let's continue. There you go. What class? Okay, hold on. Help me read in the first line, please. What is a what clause? Okay, sure. Uh, a what clause is a tip of type of noun type, okay, of noun clause that begins with the word what. Ah, okay, with the word what. There you go. This is one of the first keys that we're going to have. Marco, help me read the second line, please. Right. A uh, what clause sometimes serves as a noun or subject in the sentences. Okay, very good. Listen up. A what class sometimes serves as a noun or subject in the sentence. Let's remember that noun or subject is basically the same, right? And we've got a series of examples in here. As I told you, what is not precisely only for questions. It's also for expressions, okay? Let's see the first expression as example. Alfredo, let's read number one, please. The first example. What I want you do, to do is to wake up early to go to work. Okay, very good. So now, what I want you to do is to wake up early to go to work, right? If you take a look in there, the sentence, we started with what, but that is not a question. It is not a question, right? So what does it mean? Significa que podemos usar what en expresiones, right? In expressions, no precisamente solo en preguntas, okay? So that's what we are like showing in this part, right? That's the whole class now about, right? To show up that what is not only for questions, but also for expressions. Now let's see. William, help me out reading the second example, please. What we need is to practice English in class. Okay, very good. What we need is to practice English in class. Literally in Spanish, what does it mean? Can somebody tell me what that's in Spanish? What that sentence means in Spanish? Uh, how would you translate that, that example into Spanish for a better understanding? Necesitamos practicar en la clase de inglés. 
What we need is to practice English in class. Algo falta ahí, Jonathan. Lo que nosotros necesitamos Lo que nos practique en inglés. All right. Lo que necesitamos. There you go. Esa es la clave. Lo que. Que. In that case, that's the function of what. As que. But in this case, let's remember. Not for question. For expression. Okay. Lo que necesitamos es practicar inglés en la clase. All right. Lo que quiero. Listen up. What I want you to do, lo que quiero que hagas, what I want you to do is to wake up early to go to work. Lo que quiero que hagas es que te levantes temprano para ir a trabajar. There you go. That's the first expression that we got in there, right? So if you take a look in there, as I told you, we use what, but not only for questions. It's just an expression, right? So what is the main function in there? Of what? What is functioning as an expression and is taking the role as a subject? Okay. Why a subject? Because in this case, it's a noun clause. It's considered a noun clause. Okay. That's why it is acting as a noun. Now, let's see some extra examples so you can understand better. Let's put some examples in there. Carlos, help me on reading the first one, please. Okay. okay, I work very hard. That is what I do every day. Okay, very good. In this case, the what expression is not at the beginning. It's right after, if you take a look in there, it's right after a comma. That is what, I do every day. So in that case, we're putting the expression at the end of the example, right? At the end of the sentence. We can do that too, okay? We can do that, okay? There you go. Another example. Let me see who can help me out. Jennifer, help me out reading, please. What I want? is to prepare a good presentation. Okay, there you go. What I wanted is to prepare a good presentation. Okay, if you take a look in there, now the expression is in simple past. ¿Cómo vamos a identificar que una oración en este caso o una expresión con what está en pasado? Because of the verb. We need yeah, in there to take a look at the verb, right? Yeah, in that yeah. case, we have a regular verb with ed at the end. Okay, so that means the example or the whole sentence is in simple past. Okay, it's in simple past because we have ed. There you go. Now, another example. Domingo, help me out, please. What she did, what she did in the meeting was excellent. Okay, there you go. Thank you, Domingo. What she did in the meeting was excellent. So you see, that's another expression starting with what, right? As I told you, in this case, what is just acting as an expression, right? As an expression. There you go. Let's continue with another expression example. Hilmar, help me out, please. Eh, la última. Yeah. Okay. What you need is to look for a new job. Okay, very good. What you need is to look for a new job. There you go. Or in Spanish, lo que necesitas es buscar un nuevo Trabajo. There you go. Right? So, as I told you, this is just acting as an expression, right? We are using a what in here as an expression to remark something. All right? We got another expression. Carla, help me out, please. Okay. 
what they need is to collect money and buy a car. Okay, there you go, right? What they need is just to collect money to buy, all right, or buy a car. There you go. So in that case, what is the main function of what? Is just to provide a reason about something, okay? In that case, we use what to start giving an explanation or reason about something. That's the main function of what as an expression. Let's see another one. Amilcar, help me out, please. Uh, teacher, I don't, I don't understand because I, um, I'm out the, the, the class you were for out the class? interview. Okay, all right, no problem. Just help me out reading the last example, please. Okay. Veamos. Okay, the, the first one. I work last very hard. The last one, the last one. The last one, ah, okay. What I am I'm saying is that he can complete the module. All right, there you go. Thank you, Amilcar. What I'm saying is that he can complete the module. All right. When do we use what in this case? Listen, we use what when we want basically to give an explanation about something. But what in this case is acting as an expression, okay? An example, an extra example. What I want for this module is to make my students to practice English, All right? In that case, what am I doing? I am making or reaching a goal with you, All right? And what is the goal? To practice English, right? That's the main goal that I really want with you. There you go. So let's continue with this. Yes, sir. Give me a second, I'm going to make going to dry out. All right, can you confirm if you can listen to me clearly, please? Yeah. Can you yes, it All yeah. right, there you go. Yeah, the thing is that I, I barely listen to you because in here, in this area, it's raining a lot. It's raining very hard and uh, I barely can listen to you. But anyways, just in case you don't listen to me, just let me know, okay? Good, as I told you, we use what? In this case, just to give an extra explanation about an activity or about a desire that we want for an activity or for another person itself, right? Another example that I can give is like, for example, what I need from you is to speak only English. What am I saying in this case? What I'm saying in this case is that I have or I want you basically to reach a specific goal, okay? That I am in this case wishing. All right. Now, in, in order to see if we have understood this part that what is used only for an expression, can you give me an expression using what? As a purpose in the class, all right? Let's start as a purpose in the class. Marco, can you help me out with one, ex one, one example, please? One example. Yeah. Uh, when, I, when I'm saying is that... What I'm saying, what I'm saying is, is that she eat very fast. Okay. Lo que yo digo es que ella come muy rápido. Yeah, lo, okay. que esto, lo que digo es que ella come muy rápido. Okay, good. Vanessa no coma muy rápido. Please. <laughs> okay, very good. Thank you, Marco. Now, Alfredo, help me out with one example. Uh, what I want is the glass finished. No, no, no. Uh -huh. <laughs> let, let, let me see. No, no. 
Uh, One hour and ten minutes, man. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, want uh, no what he want is a new job ah okay very good thank you ever help me out with one example uh, what you need to do is to practice the more english ah, okay very good to practice more english there you go Fatima? What I want is have a dog. Is to have a dog. Is to have a dog. Okay. To have a dog. No, good, good. Don't you want cats? I'm giving away cats. No, gatos no, my cat, no, teacher. Hey, dog. Funcionan como despertadores a las 3 de la mañana. Y <ríe> sí, es cierto. Lindo. Sí, es cierto. Parecen poseídos esos animales. Para el egoísmo. I'm getting a custom. I'm getting a custom. Ahí tengo que estar con una escoba porque me despiertan el niño. Para el egoísmo. All right. Good, Fatima. Maritza. Help me out with one example. Todavía no lo tengo, Tiche. Ah, ok. There you go. I'm going back to you. Elmer. Uh, what I want to wear new pets. Uh, I'm sorry, Elmer. I didn't listen to you. Can you repeat the, uh, the expression, please? Uh, I barely listen to you. I know probably your classmates listen to you, but it, since you hear it's raining a lot, uh, I didn't listen. Can you repeat the, the, the example, please? Okay. Uh, what I want, I want were new pets. Ah, you need a new pet? I wanted a new mascot, but no me la dieron. Me dieron okay. otra cosa de regalo. <laughs> hey, kid. <laughs> okay, man. All right, man. Okay, man. Good. Ah, uh, Carlos, your turn. Okay. Uh, what I want to do? Speak English. What I need for speak English is practice every day. Okay, very good. There you go. Thank you, Carlos. Now, Carla, give me your example, Carla. What she needs is to bury money. What she needs is? Is to bury money. Uh, is that bury money? Yeah. What do you mean by that? A lot of money? A lot of money. I mean, a lot of money, right? A lot of money. Okay. Right. You have a lot of money. Okay. Jennifer? What we all need is a good vacation. <laughs> Uh, what we all need is a good vacation. Ah, oh, yes, yes. No problem. Right after this module, we will see each other next year. We're going to have a long vacation. There you go, Jennifer. Good. Madeline, give me your example. What I wanted is to take vacation. <laughs> Me too, man. Me too. There you go. Very good. Ah, what's that? What example. I need it. Okay. Uh, what I need is to go to work because I am on vacation. Really? Yes, yes. <laughs> and everybody, what? Really? You, you, you want to go back to work? <laughs> yeah. Okay, good, good, good. All right, Domingo, 
Near your example. Uh, example, why, why, what I need is more, is more time to study. Now, nah, okay, very good. I thought you would say, what I need is one million dollars. That's another one. <laughs> there you go, Domingo, very good. Jonathan, your example, Jonathan. What I need in room in the park. Ah, okay, okay, good. Aha, uh -huh. ever? Again. Again, teacher. Ah, did you participate already? I, I, ah, okay. I right. did. The, the thing is the quadriculars are moving up. All right, no problem ever. Did you participate already? Ah, uh, no problem, okay. Ah, uh, Romeo. Okay. Let's do it, Romeo. What, what I need is practice it. No, okay, all right. What you need is to practice English. Okay, good. Amilcar. Okay. <clears throat> what I need to exercise for my healthy. Okay, what you need is to do exercise for your health. Okay. There you go. I do really need to do exercise too, but I'm kind of lazy nowadays and I'm like falling asleep and I don't go to do exercise. And I should go. All right. Good, Amilcar. Uh, Vanessa? What you need is to meet your goal for the month. All right, all right, all right. What you need is to? Meet your goal for the month. Ah, okay. All right. There you go. Thank you, Vanessa. Okay. Jasmine. I am studying English. What I need practice every day. Okay, to learn English, but I need to practice every day. Okay. Good. Acceptable. There you go. Thank you, Jasmine. William. What you need is a new cell phone, and for that you must work very hard. Yes, ma'am. Yes. There you go. Very good, William. Ah, uh, let me see, Mauricio. What you need is to study English letter class. Very good, man. Thank you. Let me see, Jorge has already participated. Uh, do you participate already, Jorge? Sorry, sorry, sorry. I am in call, uh, but the exercise. Uh huh. Uh huh. The example. Uh, okay. Give me, give me one moment. Uh, I try this. Uh, what I want you to do is to go to the Tunco with me. Huh? Really? Okay, let's go to El Tunco, man. Let's go to El Tunco. Excellent. But, but, but why El Tunco? I mean, El Tunco, is, everything is expensive in there. Everything costs oh. a lot of money. I yeah, have, uh, I have uh, friends, friends in the, in the, in the, in the sites, this is a city? Uh-huh, uh-huh. In sorry. the site? The place? Um, uh -huh. In the place, in the, it's very, very, uh, no, it's not expensive for me. <laughs> not expensive. I mean, no. that's, that's that's good. Last time I went there, I I felt for real, man. I, I, I felt that people took my money. Right? It's like, I okay, oh. take my money. I bought a yeah. milkshake completely quadro and me sentí estafado. Me for for, for, like, what? for dollars. <laughs> I got it. No, my, I mean, and I buy a liquido here by by like fifty cents or one dollar in there. Like almost three dollars? No, man, it's too much. Yeah, uh, my friend is uh, dueño. ¿Cómo se dice dueño? Owner. Owner. The group. The group. 
ah, no sé, de Gu Hotel. Ajá. Eh, Hotel. Y, ajá, y ah. él da barato las cosas, no da tan caro. Ah, ¿really? Sí. Ahí les voy a pasar el contacto, por si quieren. Va, va. Luego sí. si me cobran Con la caro recomendación ahí, de él, sí, 10% ahí, sí, de descuento. Si nos cobran yeah. caro ahí, ¿verdad? Ya sabemos a quién la a noche, ir a buscar por ahí. En la noche, el cabaña vale 5 dólares. Pero uh. cuando es gente que viene de afuera, se le pagan hasta 25 dólares. Entonces, cualquier cosa, ahí les puedo pasar el contacto. Excelente. Excelente. Ah, Excelente. Yeah, you pay the Bitcoin. <risa> Tengo para dos Está, noches en Bitcoin. Si sí, sí, tan sí. solo hubiese sabido eso hace como 11 meses. Man. Ah, 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 para ah, anyway. Ah, ah, hey, really. Michelle. So, ah. Michelle. Ajá. What do you need is to pass the role teacher. To pass what? What do you need is to pass the role. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, I mean, that's what I need. That's true. That's true. true, true. But one time, yeah, yeah. one time. <laughs> let's see. Uh, let's see. Let's continue. Ooh, ooh, this one. Hey, Stephanie. I mean, Stephanie's here. Hi, Stephanie. Hi, teacher. How are you, Stephanie? I'm fine. Ah, do you buy a new cell phone, Stephanie? Ay, teacher. Ah. Pobre me dijo, vea. Qué no, malo. no, the thing is that you told me that the last module you didn't turn on your camera because your cell phone didn't work. So I'm expecting you to buy a new cell phone so I can see you again. I know, but... Uh, on, I don't have a money. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, uh huh. And I'm a, and you expect me you to believe? Come on, Stephanie, turn on the camera, Stephanie. No, I want to see you, Stephanie. Hey, hey, uh, tell Natalie the module has started. Um. Please. Pues me dijo que se iba a conectar ahora, pero no sé por qué no lo ha hecho. Ajá, uh -huh, that's weird. I, I thought she was, she was, she was showing up today uh, to the class. That's weird. Mm -hmm. She's not here. But anyways, give me, uh -huh. give me your, give, give me your example, Stephanie. Um, uh, what I want to buy more clothes. Ignore a new cell phone, Stephanie? Yes. <laughs> okay, all right, right. What I want is to buy more clothes. A women yes. likes buying clothes, right? So you got uh, okay. Vanessa, got Stephanie, Rosa, who else? Women, Jasmine, Carla, Jennifer, a lot of women. Maritza and Fatima. Do you agree, girls, that you, that you, what you like is to buy clothes and shoes all the time? Yes. Right? Yeah, I mean, yeah. Yes, teacher. Yeah, I man. When girls get money, they just see clothes, shoes, and uh, and uh, what else? Makeup. Makeup it, and and uh, to dye their the the hair. You know, like to cut the hair and everything. Nails. Uh -huh. Listen up. Put nails over the <laughs> nails. It's crazy, right? Yeah. <laughs> to, to make. To make the eyelash like like bigger, crazy, right? Crazy. <laughs> Women are crazy. And what men do when we have money? What is it? Ah, like to buy food for the house, right? To buy food for mm. the house and everything, right? To put gasoline on the car, to go to work. Check the car. Yes, man. Uh huh. Fix the car. Just imagine if you let the car to your wife. Ah, your wife is going to crash the car, so you have to fix the car, right? <laughs> yeah, and everybody's like, yes. Yeah, all right. Okay, cool. Uh, let me see who's going to be the last person to participate. Hi, William. Uh, Rodriguez, I got two Williams today. Huh, good. 
Hi, good night. <laughs> Hi, Wen. It's good to have you here again. All right. Yes. Yeah. All right. Uh, you were you were in the class and they, and you were listening to your classmates participated in the examples that they were providing using the expression with what? Can you give me an explain uh, an example using that expression? The topic is what? Yeah, is expressions using what? For example, what I need you to do is to give me an example. That is a good example, right? Over the example. Okay. As the ones that you have uh, in, the, in, the, in the screen. Okay. Uh, what you, what, what you want to prefer? Uh -huh. It's okay. What you want to? Prefer. What you want to prefer? Ah, uh, lo que preferas. No, okay, all right, might be acceptable. Mm. The only thing is that it's like kind of general, but, it, but it's okay, it's okay, right? Okay. Good, cool. As Good I chair. told you, my example it will be, what I want, what I want right now is to become millionaire. <laughs> that will be good, <laughs> that will be great. Aha, uh -huh. uh -huh, Marco. Uh, what, what do you need is to take the attendance, to take the attendance. Hey, what time is it? 907. Thank you, man. Good. That's a good and clear example, man. Thank you. Hey, what happened with Maritza? Maritza didn't tell me about the attendance list. Uh, teacher, read the, the message. Let me see. My God, Maritza. Yes or not? Come on, Maritza. You, you, uh -huh. you, you got the microphone now. Why didn't you tell me? All right. Your example is missing, Maritza. All right. I'm going to pass ah, it. Then. My, I'm gonna my pass example? It. I don't okay. know. All right. Do it. Do what, it. A, what I want is for everybody, everybody to be on time. Ah, hey. Good example, Maritza. Ah, yeah. okay. Thank you, Maritza. Yeah. You, you took my words out of my mouth, all right? I was about to say the same example, right? Another example, what I want my students is to turn on their cameras. Okay, good. That's another example, right? Good. Teacher, in this, in this moment, uh, estoy en una llamada. <laughs> Sorry. Ah, you see, okay, all right. Uh, Guys, ahí les compartí en el chat eh, el lugar para que puedan ir al Tunco. Ah, ok, good. Thank you. 50% de descuento, dice, patrocinado por Jorge. Good. Nice, Jorge. All right. Thank you. Uh, Alfredo Alexander. Present teacher. Ah, ok. Thank you. Amilcar Cañengues. Present. Good. Carlos Gualberto. Carlos Gualberto. No, 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 no. Okay. He's not here. Ever de Jesús. Present. Okay. Domingo Alexander. Present, teacher. Now, ah, okay, very good. Let me see, Fatima Alejandra. Present. Now, nah, okay, good. Hilmar Cruz. Present. Okay. Jonathan Alexander. Present. Very good. Jorge Elvir. Present. Okay, Jose Matias. I'm here. Very good. Carla Benacer. Present teacher. Okay, good. Marco David. Present. Okay, excellent. Maritza Alcira. I'm here, teacher. Very good. Marlon Alberto. Present. Okay. Mauricio Alexander. Uh, present. Very good. Romeo Alexis. Present. 
All right. Rosa del Carmen. Present. Ah, okay, yeah, I'm Rosa is there. Oh. Uh, Vanessa Odet. Present. Yeah, okay, very good. William Eduardo. Present. All right. Jasmine Melanie. Present. Okay. Jennifer Noemi. Present. All right. Natalie Vanessa, which is not here. And Stephanie Lisette. Present. Okay. And the last one, William Alberto. Ahí soy la última. Present. Yes. <laughs> You are the one from the last ones. Yeah, I mean, ah, but the good thing is that you're here. That's the baddest thing. Okay, good. All right, you got the rewards in there. Okay, people, let's continue with these things. Now that we have already discussed what is uh, this type of expressions that we were practicing, I want we to practice, we got to practice a short conversation that is basically related to what we have been doing in the manual. Just give me a second, I'm going to project the thing that we're gonna have. These things. Let's go specifically to, okay, give me a second, what is that about? Ah, my God. To this page, is page 11, all right? This is just basically related to what we have been discussing, it says, what are three things that you need to have to a product manufacturer? What does your company create? There you go. That's what we're going to be talking about in this short conversation. Okay. And it says in the conversation, listen to your teacher, read the conversation, then practice with a partner. All right. What are we going to do in this case, people? Listen. We have this short conversation between Job and Kurt, okay? And right after we practice this conversation, in here, we have two questions. Below the conversation, in the manual, you will find these two questions. It says, Firework, discuss the answers to the questions below. It says, what does Kirk's friend do to have better honey quality. Do you consider that quality is important? Why? What are we going to do? We are going to practice this conversation and after practicing this conversation, we are going to read and answer these questions from the conversation, okay? How are we going to do this? We are going to work in pairs as we were working last class. Let me see how many people are we right now. Yeah, in pairs. We got 22, right? It's going to be like 11 first. All right. Good. What are we going to do? I am going to read the conversation. If you have any question related to the vocabulary, please let me know, okay? It says... This is a conversation between Job and Kurt. It says, Job, Kurt, do you know what you need to have a good product? Do you know what you need to have a good product? It says, Kurt, oh, that's a good question. I think that what I will do, listen, oh, that's a good question. I think that what I will do is have quality in a product. Is have quality in a product. It's a job. What do you mean? What do you mean? It's a skirt. What I'm saying, what I'm saying is that your product has to be 
the best in the market. What I'm saying is that your product has to be the best in the market. It's a joke. Because of the competence. Because of the competence. I get it. I get it. It's a spurt. Yes, you know. Yes, you know. Okay. A friend of mine, a friend of mine has a honey factory. Has a honey factory. What my friend did was, what my friend did was, to get fresh honey, to get fresh honey from local farmers, from local farmers. It's a job, sounds great, sounds great. And at the same time, and at the same time, he contributes he contributes to these people, to these people. Okay, from this conversation, people, the one that we got here, do you have any question related to vocabulary? Something that you don't really understand? Honey, teacher. Honey is what bees produce. What is honey, people? Miel. Yes, miel, okay. honey, miel. All right, any other word? What is Kurt? Uh, no, nah, Kurt is the, is the name, is the name of, of, of the person. Ah, uh, all right. Yeah, Kurt job on Kurt. Kurt, all right. Yeah, yes. Any other word that you do not understand? Or might be a noun for you. What is farmers? Farmers. Yes. Farmers are the people who takes care about cows, who produces milk, who produces honey from bees. Son como pro productores or, or uh -huh, exactly granjeros. producers or or in a general word granjeros. There you go. Exactly. Okay. Any other word? In the last line, teacher, uh -huh. contribute. Contribute. Contribuir. Okay, thank you. Yes. Teacher. Yes. What do you mean? Mean? All right. Uh, yeah, the seed. Exactly. The seed. Exactly. What do you mean? I'm like, ¿A qué te refieres? Okay, ¿O qué quieres decir? Yeah. There you Thank go. Thank you. Okay. Another one. Another one. For you. For you people. Because of the competence. ¿Cómo interpretamos eso? Because of the competence. Por la competencia. All right. Por la competencia. Porque la competencia. No, in that case, it's por la competencia. Aunque la right? competencia. Yeah. Right, he says, okay. like, what I'm saying is that your product has to be the best in the book. Why? Ah, because of the competence, right? Por la competencia. Okay. Por, de la competencia. Yeah, in this case, por la competencia. Because of the competence. Yeah, in este caso, listen up. Because, aparte de responder a una pregunta usada por why, también podemos usarla en diferentes mm -hmm. contextos. Podemos mm -hmm. usarla en diferentes contextos. Ejemplo, ejemplo, an example, right? Yo les digo, uh, if you're speaking in Spanish and everything, I'm speaking in English, right? And uh, something happens, it says like, because of you, right? Because you don't speak in Spanish, because of you, I'm gonna give a homework. Ah, 
porque no hicieron algo, all right, por ustedes haré algo adicional o dejaré tarea, right? Because of you o por ustedes, por ustedes. Culpa. Exactly, right? Por because, su culpa. because of you. Ah, por, por su culpa, por ustedes, right? Por ustedes, because of you. En este caso, entonces, because, si ve, ya no es por qué, sino por. Por la competencia. Mm -hmm. Ok. Exactly. Mm -hmm. I get yeah. it. There you go. And what is I get it? I get it. Tomando en cuenta que el verbo get significa conseguir u obtener. I get it. Tengo. Tengo. Mm, eh, a pesar de que... Lo entiendo. Dice, ah, exactly. A pesar de que signifique obtener o conseguir, I get it significa, o es otra forma de decir, comprendo o entiendo. I get it. I get it. Yeah. I get it. Exactly, right? Y si es en pasado es I got it. I got it. I got it. Lo comprendí. Exactly, right? Ah, entendí eso. I got it. Muy There you go. Bien. Very good. Uh, are we good with the with the, with all the vocabulary there? Any question related to the pronunciation? Estamos bien en la pronunciación de las palabras? Or you have any questions? Yo question tengo una consulta. Yeah, tell me, Fred. Uh, en la oración que dice what my friend did was to get fresh honey Ajá. Eh, ¿por qué van dos en pasado? si está usando it? did no entendí All right. give me a second, what is that? Oh, let's see. I think what I do. Let me see. What, what my mean? friend did was to get I mean what to... my friend did okay, was to get let me see Yes, you know, it says, a friend of mine has a honey factory. What my friend did was, okay, it's like, lo que hizo mi amigo fue, all right, conseguir, that's the way how we got it in that case, right? That El case. did no es un auxiliar, exactly. sino está exactly. usándolo como verbo. Exactly, en ese ah, caso, okay. no está actuando como auxiliar, sino como verbo principal. Why? Okay. Porque no es una pregunta, es una expresión. Mm. Exactly, right? Okay. Entonces, what my friend did is, es, 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 esa es la what expression. Expression related to what. Entonces, luego de was, ya es la forma del verbo to be que está hablando también en pasado, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's like when you say, like, sí. ah, for si, hubiera, si, si hubiera sido auxiliar, hubiera sido después del what. Digo. Exactly, right. En este caso, wow. ajá, en este caso, si hubiera si hubiese sido o actuado como auxiliar, necesariamente tendríamos que tener un símbolo de interrogación in there, ok, y el verbo principal en presente simple, forma base, right? B. Exactly. Ok, ¿y qué más? Ah, entonces el did ya no lo tuviésemos ahí, sino que did iría justo después de what. Uh -huh. As a question, okay. in a question. Uh -huh. right? okay. Exactly, exactly, right? Recordemos entonces que what lo podemos utar, utilizar también como expresiones, no necesariamente como una pregunta, right? Not only as a It, question. Okay. There teacher, it. una consulta. Ajá. Tell una me. consulta para lograr distinguir wax como expresión y no como pregunta, siempre good, hay good. Algún... Por la posición, por la posición. Mm -hmm. Recuerde estructura, que después por la estructura. De, exactly, recuerde que después de what, si es una pregunta, usted necesita el auxiliar, no, ya sea no. do, did, o was, sí. o where, o is, o are, si es en presente simple. For example, mm -hmm. in a question, what did you do yesterday? That's a question. What you okay. did yesterday? Esa es una expresión. Listen. What did you do yesterday, Domingo? Ah, you might say, ah, I did a lot of things. Now, as an expression, what you did yesterday, Domingo, was excellent. You see? Now, what Entonces, you en, did... en la estructura quedaría what subject bear uh, uh, in the past. Exactly. Right? Depending. Uh -huh, exactly. Mm. Depending if, you sp if you're speaking in, in simple past, it, it will be in the past. Sí, right? sí, sí. No, exactly. Sí. There you go. What mm -hmm. Jose says is correct, right? What? Plus subject, 
plus then the rest of the sentence. That's the way how you can identify when uh, is what acting as a question and how what is acting as an expression. Oh, I did it. <laughs> there you go. Okay, what are we going to do with this information? Since we are 22 people, we are going to practice this conversation in pairs, okay? In pairs, because I need you to practice this. Esta es la manera en cómo vamos a ir ganando un poco más de fluencia by practicing, okay? In pairs, and right after you finish the practice, I want you to answer these two questions over here, right? Related to this conversation, okay? Okay. There you go. Uh, yes. just, just to start, do everybody have the manual, people? Todos tenemos el manual? Yes. No, yes. not yet. Not yet, teacher. You, you don't have it? Tomorrow I will to printing. Ah, okay. All right. No problem. But you got it in PDF, right? Yes. Okay. All right. Very good. No problem. All right. There you go. Okay. So I'm going to stop in here the pre, uh, the sharing uh, screen and I'm gonna make the groups. Just give me a second, okay? Let me see how many. Oh my God, who's who left? A ver quién se fue. William Eduardo. William. Okay. You know what? I'm gonna make groups of three better. Let me see. Twenty-two. Twenty-two. Yes. Groups of three. It will be better. Design automatically. There you go. Okay, let's go to work. All right? You gotta practice the conversation for a couple of minutes. All right? And answer the questions. Let's go to work, people. Marlon, are you there? Okay. Le parece que iniciamos, Domingo, sea usted yo y yo soy Kurt. Va, okay. Mr. Uh, Kir, do you know what you need to have a good product? Oh, that's a good question. I think that what I will do is have quality in a product. What do you need? What I'm saying is that your product has to be the best in the market because of the competence, I get it. Yes, I know. Our friend of mine has a honey factory. Hello. Uh, would uh, it debería, verdad? Uh, depending depending on what you use it. Are you using it in the in the question or where? But no, yeah, but no. would would basically. What I would do. Ah, lo okay. que lo que yo debería hacer. All right. Would es simplemente ese ia que se le ia. coloca a cada verbo. Yeah. Uh -huh, lo podemos sí, traducir sí. como ese ia, like, would you like, ah, uh, like, te gustaría, right? Entonces sería, sería ahí, sería eh, lo que haría, lo que yo haría. What I will do. Uh -huh. Sí, ¿verdad? Lo que yo haría. Yes, lo que haría. Uh -huh. O lo que haría, ah, sí, perdón, lo que haría. Uh -huh. Ok, sí, eso tenía la duda. 
Yes, that's the way. Right, yeah, yeah. Tener un producto de calidad. Okay, all right, let's, let's keep going. Here, here, do you know what you need to have a good product? Oh, that's a good question. I think that what I will do is have quality uh, in the product. What do you mean? What I'm saying is that your product has to be the best in the market. Because of the competence, I get it. Yes, you know. Uh, a friend of mine has to own a factory. What my friend did was to get fresh honey from local farmers. Sounds great. And at the same time, he contributes to test people. These people. To test people. To test people. Yeah, yeah. Okay, ahora, empiezo yo. Okay. Kids, do you know what you need to have a good product? Oh, that's a good question. I think that what I will do is have quality in a product. What do you mean? What I'm saying is that your product has to be the best in the market. Because of the competence, I get it. Yes, you know, a friend of mine has a honey factory. What my friends did was to get fresh, fresh honey from local farmers. Sounds great. And, and at the same time, he contributes to these people. Okay. Here, do you know what do you need to have a good product? Oh, that's a good question. Why? Why? The process of quality is important. My fresh honey from the country. Estar on in la dos. Are you answering the questions or are you practicing uh, uh, the conversation first? What are you doing first? Okay. The question. Ah, uh, the questions. Okay. All right. All right. The don't question. forget. Don't forget to practice the conversation right after you finish with the questions. Okay, teacher. All right. Good. Because because there are many competences. Hmm. Porque hay muchas competencias. Because they, because, because there are many competence in, in all the mercado, how do you say? Market. Market, but, but um, in the market. Mm. Because the market is required. Como porque el mercado lo, lo, lo requiere o... Uh -huh. Historia ya tiene sueño. <ríe> hey, teacher, hello. What, what you mean? Why you What you talking about? Me? I have 45 years, I best story. <ríe> Come on, man. I don't say that. Yeah, yeah, Ryuma. <ríe> Ah, uh, even me, man, I got rumors already. I need cofala, I need acetaminofen, <laughs> I need ibuprofeno. 
Uh, something only for that. Same thing, man. Same thing. Rest in peace. Y una, y una cosita que le mete agua. Sí. <laughs> <laughs> why? why you mean? 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 Answer, answer is, uh -huh. is get French honey from the local farmers, maybe? Let me check, what's, what's, the, what's, what's the question? All right, he got, he got uh, fresh honey from local farmers. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's the one. Okay, and number two, and do you consider that quality is important? Look, uh, in there, in there, the answer might vary. The answer will be depending on how you understand this. Oh, okay. Yes. No entendí nada, güey. Some bro. Come on, man. <laughs> Some bro, bro. Okay, Rosa. Siempre um, feliz Rosa, right? Nada de enojada. Obvio. <laughs> Obvio. Que así, siempre, así vi. siempre enojada o siempre feliz? <laughs> siempre feliz. Ah, ok. All right. Good. 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 Ok. Uh, practice Rosa with me. Ok. Usted. Yeah. Oh, yo comienzo. Ok. Yo, ok. Kid, do you know what you need to have a good. En la primera dice que, 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 que hace el amigo para tener miel de calidad. Sí. Le voy a volver a compartir la, la, la imagen de, la, de lo que tenía. Mm -hmm. Vaya, ahí dice ¿qué, qué, ¿Qué hace para obtener miel de calidad? Decía, ¿verdad? <risa> What do girls, el amigo Ay, teacher, el amigo que solo se ríe Ajá, uh -huh. no, my, my face is funny there <laughs> And that is green Ah, sí, bien, bien serio Así como que, what you doing? <laughs> yeah. All right, cool. let's continue. ¿Sabe que tú necesitas? Ajá, sí, dice. Yo tengo la cajura, pero sin el picho. <laughs> ah. Man, Romeo, qué man, Romeo. <laughs> ahí se fue. Hasta mi mamá está ahí, mire, que me estaba llamando. Sí, cabal. Va, <laughs> okay. Dice, what do your friend, friends do you have better honey parity? Por tener mierda de mejor calidad. Acá abajo dice. Ah, la, la miel de él es fresca. Sí, la que dice que es la de local farmer. Ajá. Uh -huh. To get fresh honey from. Local farmer. Eso sería la respuesta. Uh -huh. To get fresh. Fresh. Uh -huh. Fresh. Fresh. Money. Money. From local farmer. De ahí la segunda dice. Do you consider that quality is important? Sí, why? Que si considera que la calidad es importante. 
Sí. ¿Por qué? Sí. Yes. Ahora por qué. Because. Because. Viene Bye. siendo casi lo mismo porque eh, si una es, es de una fábrica de miel y la otra es de... No sé, Romeo, ¿qué dice? Por la competencia, ¿verdad? Sí. Por la competencia, ¿cierto? También sí. Right. Um, this is, and like that. Yes, it's important for the people and um, provide excellent quality to health and to get a good prestige. Prestige. Teacher. Yes. How do you say this word? Prest prestige. Prestige, the mean Spanish is prestigio. Yes. Prestige. Mm -hmm. Like that. Mm -hmm. ah, okay. Prestige. Prestige. We, we have the answer to the two questions. All right. The last, you... the last conversation. Uh -huh. And now practice and again. Now, okay, good. Okay, you start. Domingo, please. You're going to be job, uh, Domingo. I am Kurt. Okay. Kurt, did you know what you need to have a good product? Oh, that is a oh, that is a good question. I ah, think that. Question. <laughs> oh, that is a good question. I think that what I will do is have quality in a product. Well, what do you need? What I'm saying is that your product can. Sounds like he contributes. To these people, these teacher have a question. Uh huh. Tell me. How do you pronounce contributes? Ah, uh, contributes. Contribute. Contribute. Okay. Yes, contributes. Contribute. Okay, teacher, verdad que está equivocada en la primera pregunta, verdad? Que dice, what does Kirks? Ah, uh, no, in, in this case, Kurt, that's the name of the person. Sí, pero mm -hmm. el nombre de la persona Kirk's es Kirk. Friend. Conté. All right, all right. Now, now uh, let me see, Kurt. Kurt, uh, da, 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 da. Ah, sí, mm -hmm. yeah. En ese Kirk. caso le pusieron K en vez de T. Yeah. Uh -huh. ¿Verdad que sí, verdad? Uh -huh. Sí, okay. pero estábamos buscando qué sí, significaba. Sí, nosotros estábamos buscando <laughs> que a ver qué era. <laughs> no, that's the name of the person. Lo que pasa es que ahí eh, eh, se equivocaron en la escritura y en vez de poner T, pusieron K. Vaya, y uh -huh. la respuesta que pusimos, teacher, será que está buena. Okay. Pusimos, he does say is that his product has to be the best in the market. That's uh, number one or number two? Number one. Number one. Number one. Number one. Ah, yes. Let's see, let's see. Vamos a ver. ¿Qué dice la número uno? Dice... What does Kirk's friend do to have better honey quality, right? Es lo que hace para... Uh -huh. Ajá, ajá. It's a teacher, vamos a ver. Uh, what do you mean? What I'm saying is that your product has to be the best in the market. Okay, all right. Ajá. Pero it dice does. el más abajo. Listen, listen, listen. Job, it says, because of the competence. I get it. Ajá, dice Kirk. 
-hmm. Yes, you know, a friend of mine has a honey factory. Un amigo mío tiene una empresa. Fábrica de miel. Ajá, ajá exacto. Una abeja. Exacto. <laughs> dice, dice, y dice, mire, mire. What my friend did was to get fresh honey from local farmers. Mm. Ahí está la respuesta donde dice What does Kurt's mm. friend do to have better Ah, el amigo de Kurt's uh -huh. Pero ¿cómo lo podemos poner ahí? Ah, uh -huh. easy, easy, look Easy, in this case To got, o en este caso Got fresh honey from local farmers Esa sería la respuesta Got Por... fresh honey <laughs> Yeah Ok, o en este caso vaya Pongámosle el pronombre. He got. Eh, got, eh, como eh, es una, una acción en pasado, pongámosle he got fresh honey from local farmers. Y ahí está la respuesta. Mm, Él got, consiguió mm, ajá, miel fresca de you know, like, like, local farmers o los granjeros ahí locales o los productores locales. ¿Para mm, qué? Mm. Ah, para obtener miel de el la mejor fresh. calidad. Uh -huh. Exacto. Ok. Yes. Yeah, in number two, yeah, in number two, let me see what it says. Do you consider that quality is important? Ah, ahí pues va a depender de ustedes. Si no, nosotros que lo que, es como dice la, la, nosotros de, como decía de la conversación, pusimos, yes, I do, because of the competence. Because of the competence. Sí. No, okay, all right, it's acceptable. Sí. All right, cool. Okay, good. Let's let's go back now. If you haven't already finished that, let's go back to the main section. Give me a second. I'm going to finish the breakout rooms. Vámonos a la sala principal entonces ya. Okay. See you there. I was saying it. Everybody comes in, everybody's coming back. Check attendance, teacher. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm about to. I'm about to. <laughs> we got it ready. We're going to check just, just the questions that you bring. And then we're going to finish with the last activity that we got in the manual. And we finish the class. Easy as that. Easy. Easy, easy. Yeah. Let me see. Teacher, ¿cómo está su esposo y su hijo? Ah, pues, fíjense que bastante bien. Ah, la verdad, le tocó, uh, you know, like, like, cesárea. Pero, pues, sí se, se sanó bastante rápido a los que... Ocho días ya andaba sanita la herida. Ahora ya anda súper bien. ¿Cuánto tiene ya? Ah, eh, 19 days. 19. 19 días. Pero mire, la recuperación de una cesárea es más, más difícil. Tiene que cuidarse. Yes. Ya yeah, I me mean, no, yeah, I mean, no lifting anything heavy and everything, all the things. Yep. Tiene que aprovechar cuando el niño duerma para que descanse ella. Yes. Teacher, mire por qué ahí en el, en el, dice inglés corporativo Ecuador. Ajá. No, that's just a key. Es simplemente un, una clave ahí. Ajá. Identificación. Ajá. Yeah, it's, it's a just to identify. Ajá. Okay. Yeah, it is, it's a provider. Pero, pero ecuatoriano, dije yo. <laughs> Uchica, dije yo. <laughs> yeah, oh, ya estamos <laughs> regionales. Yeah, nah, sí. prefiero que me hagan bullying de donde soy, right? Ah, para los nuevos no saben, right? Así dejémoslo. <risa> Nada, de ti ni esa. De ti ni esa. Suerte tú que no está Eric. Ah, no ya, se ayude me tanto. Ahí vamos a comenzar a contar. La vez, la vez pasada me estaba diciendo que quería unirse como oyente, pero no lo volví a ver acá. No sé qué habrá pasado. Ya me iba a ser entusiasta. I don't know why he didn't continue. Where? Lo excluyó, ¿verdad? Era el pobre Eric. Ah, no, yo Lo creo extraña. Que... ¿También yo... cómo se llamaba la otra señora? Who? Uh, la otra sí, señora. Sí. Ma Mariana. Mariana. Amiga de... 
Ana María. Ana María. Ana María. Ah, Ana Ma la peliona de Ana María. Ya, Ay, perdón, man. lo dije al revés. <risa> Mariana. <risa> Así decía ella. ¿va? You're thinking in English. <risa> yeah, yeah, I mean, she's, 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 yeah, she's thinking in English, that's why. <risa> y Tulma también, teacher. Yeah, I mean, a lot of people were missing today. Yeah, in this module, it's like, uh, let me see, Diana, uh, was it the, the one who used to drink alcohol? What was her name? Ro uh, Roxana? No, no. Ro Sarita. Sara. Sara. Yeah. Sara. Hey, ese nombre no se nos tiene que olvidar. Tenemos Amazon, que conseguir el contacto. Amazon, Ana María, eh, Eric. She is the provider de... de... Teacher y ellos están en otro grupo. No, the thing is that eh, eh, algunos de ellos lo que pasa es que Uh, digamos que cortaron mal en el curso, le tuvieron el curso, bullying, no, ¿eh? lo que <ríe> exactly. <ríe> lo que pasa es que eh, recursos humanos de, de sus empresas como que no mandaron a tiempo el papeleo. Entonces, that's uh -huh. why they couldn't get eh, ajá, the inscription. En el caso de Eric eso pasó, no le enviaron el papeleo, creo. Algo así. Ya yeah, I me mean, so sad. But anyways, a lo mejor y más adelante lo tenemos como oyente acá. Va a estar haciendo bullying como siempre. <ríe> Yeah. All right. Good. Now let's try to answer the questions that you got, people, because you have already practiced the conversation. And let me see. This this is the one, right? Okay. Good. First question. It says, Carla, help me already, please. Ah, by the way, be, before you continue, Carla, acá tiene un pequeño mistake. Eh, el, la pregunta, en vez de ser Kurt with T que es el nombre del, del, del otro participante en la conversación, dice Kirk, está con K, ¿ok? That's just, just a, a, a typing mistake, ¿ok? All right, Carla, read the question, please. What does Kirk friends to do have better high quality? Nah, huh. good. Thank you for reading the question. Jennifer, answer the question, please. What he does is get fresh honey from local farmers. Okay, or you can say he got okay fresh honey from local farmers. See if you have from local farmers, it's okay, right? Because that's what he did. Okay, what he did is to get all right to get uh, honey from local farmers. That's the answer from question number one. Very good. Question number two, Jose, read the question, please. Uh, do you consider that quality is important? Why? Okay, very good. Thank you for the question. Now, Domingo, give me your answer, Domingo. Uh... In this the case, this, answers, answers may vary, the, right? Okay. The contributes, contributes the to these people. No, okay, all right, because it contributes to the to the local. Uh, I, I important something is for, uh, para salud. For the health. Okay, it is important for the health. Okay, mm -hmm. there you go. Okay, very good, Rosa. What's your answer in this question, Rosa? Porque todos tenemos respuestas diferentes en esta número dos, right? I'm going to ask yes. to some of you. Okay, Rosa. Give me your answer. La dos, yo la considero como que está, es como algo personal, ¿va? Uh -huh. No está referente, no uh -huh. es referente tanto a la conversación. That's right. Yes. Um, Because... ¿A qué respuesta llegó usted y su grupo? Simple as that. No, como esta ahorita que hasta ahorita que está, está diciendo el compañero, es que me di cuenta que era personal, porque nosotros más que todo nos basamos en la conversación. En la conversación. 
Igual, ah, 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 ahí. ok, all right. There you go. Ok, Rosa. No problem. Ok, who did it personally? Jorge, what do you have there? Uh, no lo consideramos. I, know, I do not consider it by the personal question because uh -huh. they uh, using the... Ok, what did the, you write? Uh, give me one moment. Ok. I can stay in, the, in this, in this, uh, is that the product has be has to be the best in the market, number one, it is, is for quality is important. Why? Oh, okay. Because, right. and why? Because of the competent. Okay. Okay. Oh. It makes sense. It makes sense. All right. There you go. Good. Uh, the last participation, Alfredo, what do you have there? Okay. <laughs> and the number two. Yeah, number two. Okay. Yes, the quality is important because that way we get a customer uh, stay with our products. Okay, that was good. There you go. Okay. Let's remember the quality is important for everything, right? Because if you want to buy something, you want that that product has to be the best, the best quality, right? You're not gonna buy something in a, in a very low quality that probably gonna be broken or something like that, right? There you go. Okay, good. That one was like kind of personal. Just to finish up the conversation. Okay, in the class also, the class. Just, just to put it in any of the class. Look, talking about manufacturing things, just take a look at this, right? Expressions using what? It says, how to use what clauses? It says, listen, what clauses are often the subject of the verb be, which can be followed by a word phrase or a clause. We got some examples in here. Look, what you need, and we got an example. What you need is to have a great product. What my friend did, what my friend did was a was get fresh ingredients. What I will do, what I will do, lo que haría, what I will do, what I will do is sell my product in the new market or in new markets, right? What I'm saying is, right? An example, what I'm saying is that it is not an easy task. All right, just 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 give us as a general as a general answer to this to this part. All right, let's do it very generally. Okay, let me see who can help me out with this. I'm gonna choose one person from here. Marlon, can you please read one of the example? Let's read number one. Example number one. In I one in I one, we to choose one of these options. What you need, what my friend did, what I will do, what I'm saying is just to complete the conversation in the sentence. Okay, right teacher. Right. My best friend just opened his own shop. Mm -hmm. What I will do was open it in a good mall. Mm -hmm. My best friend just opened his own shop. Just open, simple pass, simple pass. Do you think that uh, that's 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 the correct option, or does your classmate have another option? My was my, my friend, friend did. did. That was in this open case, in was open. Okay, in this case, that would be even better. All right. Yeah. What my my friend the did best friend the or friend my I am best best mm. uh -huh. let's put it what my best friend did was open it in a good mall okay thank you Mister now Amilcar help me out reading number two okay. Many people want to start their own business. Aha. Uh -huh. 
business. Mm. What do you think it will be the most appropriate word using what or expression using what to finish this sentence? Um, I guess to num to example one, teacher. Um, Which one? What you need? Yes, it's what. You, what you need is logs of information. There, there you go. There you go. What you need? What you need? Yes. What you need? There you go. Right. Many people want to start their own business. Aha. Uh -huh. What you need is lots of information. Very good. Sure. Uh -huh. Many people. Uh, why you? No, 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 no. Is them o'clock? All right. Cool. Yeah. We're about what to finish. We... Just give me a second. Uh -huh. what, Just what uh -huh. they need. Uh -huh. But in this case, it's like let's put it in general. Let's put it in general, and then go with the specific. Uh -huh. That's what yeah. they what it means, mm. right? Okay. General okay. and goes a specific. All right. Just let's finish okay. this two and we finish the class. Okay. All right. Next, Mauricio, help me out reading. Just help me out reading. Uh, I don't know where she has to start. Uh, what uh -huh. I will do, do is okay. promote the products online. Ah, okay. Very good. What? I will do is to promote the products online. There you go. Very good. And the last one, and that last one, let's see. Carla, help me out reading, please. And we we'll finish with this one, Carla. People don't, don't buy new product, products because they can't what. Um, saying is there is no demand. Okay, very good. What I'm saying, okay, there you go. People don't buy uh, new products because they can't. What I'm saying is that there is no demand. There you go. Very good, people. So we have already finished this part using the expressions to complete this, this series of examples, right? Very good. So I'm gonna stop in here. Just give me, give me, give me a second. I'm gonna stop sharing. And I'm gonna pass the attendance, please. Okay, so I don't want to have you that much in here. Good. Alfredo Alexander. Present. All right, good. Amil Carcañengues. Present. All right, Carlos Gualberto. You got it, Carlos, okay. Ajá. Ah, Domingo. Carlos no se pudo conectar, dijo ahí en el chat, había escrito. Ah, ok, good. Domingo Alexander. Present. Ok, good. Ever de Jesús. Present. Ok, Fátima Alejandra. Present. Ok, good. Gilmar Cruz. Present. Ok, Jonathan Alexander. Present. Ok, Jorge Elvir. Present. Nice. Jose Matias. Here. All right. Carla Benazir. Present. Okay. Marco David. Present. Nice. Maritza Asira. I'm here, teacher. Okay, good. Marlon Alberto. Present. Okay. Mauricio Alexander. Present. All right. Romeo Alexis. Present. Very good. Rosa del Carmen. Present. Nice. Vanessa Odette. Present. Very good. William Eduardo. Present. All right. And the last one uh, uh, from the manual, Jasmine Melanie. Present. Okay. Jennifer Noemi. Present. All right. Natalie Vanessa is not here. Stephanie Lisette. Hey, Stephanie. All right. Stephanie, are you there? Okay, supongo que... Okay, good. 
Yeah. There you go. And the last one, William Alberto. And I think William got problems with the internet. That's why he got connect disconnected. All right, people. I'm going to stay with one person in the 10 minutes feedback. And that person is going to be Amilcar Cañengues. Right? Today is your, your 10 minutes feedback, okay? There you go, people. So thank you for coming to this video conference and let's see you tomorrow okay don't forget to continue with the homeworks right in the platform just to oh, give okay. on time to be on time with the homework right have a beautiful see you tomorrow night, people. people have a wonderful see you night. tomorrow bye. good night everybody bye 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 everybody hey good luck Emilcar. <laughs> good luck thank you why is that good luck, man? <laughs> what do you mean by good luck? I'm, and I'm you not, too. I'm, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna kill him. <laughs> no, no me aprovecho, <laughs> Okay, teacher. See you. Hey, Amilcar. All right, man. Too. Bye, bye. Bye, bye. Okay. bye. I, I mean, see you. This is sleepy, right? I'm gonna. I'm. I'm up. I'm up. Very. Very ah, yo, 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 estoy en los últimos. Adiós. <laughs> bye, man. <laughs> bye, bye. <laughs> All right, Amelia. As you know, like today is your 10 minutes feedback. This feedback is just to help you, you know, like if you have any question, any doubts about the previous class in this class, it is time for you to ask and under uh, in your like pre up any idea or any doubt that you might have. So I don't know if you have any question related to the past topic and this topic. Uh for example, uh, in this in the last class in this in this class, uh -huh. uh, I don't I don't understand very well the first topic. Uh, uh -huh. uh, for example, uh, uh, when when I used to when uh, I went to use what uh -huh. and to link in the sentences. Ah, okay. Uh, uh, I don't, I don't to you need the idea and the sentences. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Uh, so, so I guess to, I guess to, um, me costó entender. Uh -huh. All right. know, I can't to understand. Uh -huh. Okay. All right. What in this case, we are not doing it or, or we are not using it as you know, like, as questions. We are not using what as questions in this case. That's why it, it is called what clause, okay? In this case, you know, the structure, the structure to use what as a question, what in question is this one. Look, what plus do or did if it is, if it is in simple past, this is the structure of what in a question. Okay. Yes, yes. Plus, okay, subject, plus verb, verb. plus complement. Yes. And then, let me see, and then you put the question mark, okay? Example, what did you, Mm, let's see, what did need. you need? Okay, what did you need? Mm, let's put last week. What did you need last week? Ah, you got a question in this case. You see, you easily understand that this is a question, right? In simple past. Now, how to make a question in simple present? Look. What do you want to buy for Christmas? What do you want to buy for Christmas? Ah, ¿qué quieres comprar para Navidad? So you see, in this case, you understand that these two are questions. Okay, uh, now, now, how to create clauses Okay, clauses using what? What equal clauses? Check this out. What you need is what, after what, you need subject, and after that, okay, 
after that you need in the next one you need a verb and what you need right after that is a complement this is the structure to create clauses clauses using what okay para qué usamos what what lo usamos to provide additional additional information about something. Ah, lo usamos para proveer información adicional sobre algo. Example, look. What I, I, in this case, I is acting like the subject, okay? What I need, need, you can need in here is the verb, okay? It's the verb. What I need is to sleep right now. Ah, lo que necesito es dormir ahorita. What I need is to sleep now. You see, right now. So what I'm saying in this case is, or what I'm expressing is something that I'm providing as an additional information about something, okay? In this case, I am not making a question. I am expressing an idea about myself or about something, about a topic. For example, let's put the class uh, as an example. Uh -huh. It will to, or pod, it will, podría ser, uh, o es una afirmación sobre exactly. algo. Exactly. O, o un complemento en una afirmación, ¿verdad? Exactly. O proveer es básicamente usado para dar una información adicional sobre una actividad de algo que usted pretende. O como más, más bien para dar un consejo o una opinión sobre algo. Example. Example. Look, Amilcar. Si usted quiere poner un, una tienda, una tienda. Let's guess. You want to, to you know, to open a store. And I advise you, yo le doy una información a usted, o a modo de consejo. Ah, Amilcar, what you need is to uh, do a research, okay, to do a research about what you need to sell. Ah, what you need is to do a research about what you need to sell. Ah, lo que necesita hacer es investigar lo que necesita para poder vender. ¿Sí? Un estudio de mercado. Exacto. Entonces, ese es mi consejo. ¿Ya ve? Y para darle este consejo, yo estoy usando what. Y lo está usando dos veces. Exacto. Exacto. En este caso, ajá, lo estoy usando dos veces. Pero el que más importante pero, es ah, pero en el que da énfasis es en el inicio. En el inicio, es correcto. En este caso es para proveer una opinión sobre algo, un consejo sobre algo, o qué haría usted en caso de. En ese de qué haría en caso de, eh, podemos usar inclusive Wood. ¿Se acuerda de Wood? En sí. los módulos pasados eh, debió practicar eso. Por ejemplo, supongamos, supongamos que usted quiere comprar un carro. ¿Ok? Y yo le diga. What I would do is to save money first. Ah, lo yes. que yo haría es ahorrar dinero primero. ¿Y sí? Entonces, ahí estoy dando como una opinión a, a, en base a lo que yo haría primero. Si quiero comprar un carro. ¿All right? a modo de consejo para usted. ¿Y sí? Entonces acá estoy usando what al principio. Ah, lo que haría es guardar primero dinero, ¿verdad? Right? Ok. Good. Entonces es... es El what en este opinión. caso es como un condicionante, ¿verdad? Algo así, exacto, exacto, ¿verdad? Right? En la exacto, cual nosotros ya, ya. emitimos, en la cual nosotros emitimos una opinión sobre algo, ¿ok? Hoy con la misma podemos también dar nuestra, ¿cómo decirlo así? Nuestro consejo de qué podría hacer. 
de qué se podría hacer para poder llegar a, 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 a eso, de que alguien más quiera a implementar, por así decirlo. ¿Eh? Ahora, en este tipo de, en este tipo de, en este tópico, estaban uh -huh. también, is that what? Me pareció en un ejemplo haber visto la expresión, is that what? En el es manual. Estructural? En el manual no, o dónde? No, en las pantallas que estuvimos este, revisando. Me parece ah, que vi una. Y por eso es que yo escribí una respuesta. A, por ejemplo, en la segunda, la, la, la segunda pregunta de por qué era importante la, la, la calidad. Ajá. Entonces, ah. yo, de, ya, de, ya. de la conversación, ¿verdad? Uh -huh, Entonces, uh -huh. yo puse que era importante porque había mucha competencia en el mercado. Y agregué, el so The quality is that what identify to brands and to customer type. No sé si está correcta la expresión is that what. Que yo puse que también la calidad es, es lo que define o identifica las marcas y la clase de consumidores. Mm -hmm. Pero lo puso is that what o that is what. No, is that what. Ah, no. Tiene que ser así como está acá. That is what. Ah, ok. Ajá. Ajá. Ajá muy bien, muy bien. Ya le cacho. Uh -huh. Sería. That ah, pues sí, what? así fue como lo vi. Y lo ajá. vi. Ajá. ajá, y lo tomé ajá. de la otra forma. <risa> ajá, ajá. Por ejemplo, por ejemplo, por ejemplo. ¿Se acuerda de las de las eh, de los steps que estuvimos viendo para crear una receta, los, los pasos de la clase sí, pasada? Al final, al final, al final de decir todo el proceso, usted bien puede decir, ya utilizando este. That is what I do to prepare or to cook. Y luego poner el nombre del proceso que usted estaba haciendo. You see? En este caso ya estamos usando what acá, como en el tema de acá. Ok. Yeah. Así es como sería, ¿va? Es correcto. Así es como. Ya llegó. Así consigue, es la forma como se traduce. Ya llegó. Así okay. es la forma como lo traducimos. Es correcto. Vaya, Bien. teacher. Ma... Eh, uno de mis problemas, Ajá. porque yo identifico bien mis limitantes en este tema del inglés, Ajá. y los tengo desde siempre, los tengo identificados, y son como, son como una sombra que me persiguen. Ajá. En el caso, número uno, admito que me cuesta bastante el listening. Ajá. No tiene idea. No te, porque cuando estoy seguro que está diciendo una cosa, resulta siendo otra. Al confundir yeah. la pronunciación. Ajá. Ese es uno. Y dos, el temor escénico. Créame que me pongo de, de malas cuando, por ejemplo, me toca participar. O sea, no es que me cohiba. Uh -huh. Porque no me, porque si usted me dice, mire, hágalo yo. You do it. Como sea, uh -huh. lo hago. Exactly. Pero va implícito, va uh -huh. implícito el hecho de que este, estoy, estoy este, temeroso, no nervioso, fíjese, uh -huh. sino temeroso uh -huh. de que lo estoy haciendo mal uh -huh. y que voy a hacer el ridículo. Eso como que me... O sea, si yo participo, yo le hablo y lo que usted me diga, yo se lo hago si es que puedo. Uh -huh. Pero el punto es que en la, en la acción, a la misma vez me estoy reprobando de que, que a lo mejor lo estoy haciendo mal o no lo dije bien, o disto mucho de, de la verdadera pronunciación, etc. Ajá. Y a lo mejor siento que me va, digo yo, ¿verdad? Que me va un poco mejor en la escritura, en la gramática. Ah, ajá. Siento que allí lo cacho más rápido, porque como es solo de escribirlo. Ajá, just writing and, uh, ah, y supongo que en la lectura también. Ajá, when you're ajá, reading. ajá, sí, trato de ser un poquito más allí, más ecuánime. Ajá. No, pero en this case, lo más esencial o lo, 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 lo que se debe hacer para romper eso es 
lo, digamos, como dicen, dicen acá, agarrar los, toro, los toros por el cuerno, ¿verdad? por los cuernos. Y la clave para ir poco a poco eliminando eso es la práctica. Es la práctica. We need to practice more, right? Y que ese miedo, no sé, ese miedo que usted siente de que lo está haciendo mal, es de que poco a poco lo vaya sacando de su cabeza. ¿Por qué? Porque acá todos estamos para aprender. Acá nadie se va a burlar de usted porque usted pronuncia mal una palabra. ¿Por qué? Porque todos estamos aprendiendo. Otra cosa, a veces cuando hay lecturas, yo suelo, si alguien dice una palabra, eh, digamos, incorrecta al momento de la pronunciación, yo lo que hago es, on the spot, en el momento, decirle, ah, no se pronuncia así, se pronuncia de esta manera. ¿Para qué? Para que poco a poco vayamos con eso de que hay que ir mejorando en ese aspecto. Es bueno en ese aspecto de que en el momento poderlo corregir en pronunciación, porque si usted se encuentra de nuevo esa palabra, usted ya va a saber cómo es la forma correcta de pronunciarse. Entonces, en ese caso, como le menciono, la forma más adecuada ahí es la práctica. Es la forma en la que tenemos que ir botando ese, esa, esa barrera. Y believe me, todos, todos, todos tenemos esa barrera. Inclusive, yo la tuve por bastante tiempo también cuando comencé eh, ese proceso y todo. Y, y créame que es algo que solo se elimina si usted se lo propone y la clave es practicar, practicar es lo único. That's the only thing. Okay. That's the only thing. Recuerde que el inglés es basado en memorizar una palabra y poner esa palabra en práctica. Esa es la base. Memorizing and practicing. Y así es como okay. poco a poco vamos incrementando y verá que vamos a llegar a un momento en el cual usted va a decir, bueno, y ese miedo que ya tenía, ya lo tengo menos. Ahora participo más. Ahora estoy menos inseguro de lo que antes estaba. Entonces, eso es poco a poco así, es un proceso y obviamente vamos a enfrentarnos a barreras que poco a poco hay que irlas venciendo. Si usted se hace una evaluación de cómo está ahorita a cómo inició desde el módulo 1 y va a ver esa gran diferencia que hay, right? ya no estamos lo mismo. Entonces no, ya no. es un proceso que poco a poco ahí es como vamos a ir mejorando. ¿okay? E igual, okay. si estamos en una práctica o algo y yo lo corrijo en algo, Usted no sienta eso de que, ah, la regué, que no sé qué, que ya. No, es parte del proceso. Recuerde que acá el error nos hace ser mejores. ¿Ok? Esa okay. es la, esa es la forma. Es la forma. All right? eh, there is also something. Let me see. Yes. Uh, en YouTube también hay esta parte. Let me see. Hay un, hay, puede buscar este, mire. así, en, en este acá, en este canal así, lo que dan es como, cómo poder pronunciar de manera adecuada una serie de palabras, o a veces hay versus de palabras, eh, si alguna vez usted tiene tiempo de poder revisar okay. YouTube, puede buscar ese canal, es bastante bueno también, ahí dan consejos de cómo pronunciar correctamente las palabras y todo eso, y eso puede ayudar. Se lo digo a modo personal porque yo también lo uso. Sí. Right? Perfecto, yeah. perfecto. Ya, yeah, eso es una tool adicional que podemos usar. Right? Y ya sabe, cualquier cosa en la clase que tal vez no vaya comprendiendo del todo, usted tiene la libertad de encender su micrófono, decirme, teacher, mire, no entiendo esta parte. Puede explicarla de nuevo y yo con gusto lo voy a hacer de nuevo, ¿ok? No sienta que simplemente porque voy a, va a retroceder o va a parar lo que voy explicando. No pregunte. No, tiene que hacerlo. ¿Por qué? Porque la intención es que todos podamos comprender la clase, el tema, y que ese tema quede sin ningún tipo de duda. ¿Ok? Ok, teacher. Yeah, Thank man. you. There you go. Thank y you. sabe, en lo que pueda, I'm going to help. ¿Ok? Voy a ayudar siempre en lo que pueda. Por eso, es, ahí inclusive estamos en el grupo de WhatsApp. ¿Ok? Cualquier duda, ahí me la puede hacer saber que yo con gusto, nomás tenga tiempo, porque a veces paso medio ocupado, nomás tenga tiempo. Yo le contesto, ¿ok? Perfecto, perfecto. Yeah, you go. Thank you, le agradezco bastante. Me he fijado algo. Yes. Y es que, bueno, sí, o sea, es algo particular que me he fijado, que usted se basa bastante en el manual. Yes. Y nos hace a todos ir al manual. 
En cambio, en estos cuatro módulos anteriores, el manual sí lo veíamos, uh -huh. pero no se le daba como la, eh, la atención de vida. Uh -huh. Había muchas cosas que se pasaban por alto uh -huh. y, y, se, y mejor habían otras presentaciones en PowerPoint o en otras adicionales que, uh -huh. que el teacher se pasaba. Uh -huh. Y yo me quedaba con esa, con esa este, ¿cómo se llama? Inquietud uh -huh. de que decía yo, a lo mejor si nos pasáramos más en el manual de semióptica, quizás comprendiera un poquito mejor. Y ahora que lo hace usted, me, me parece muy bueno, me parece no, excelente. Sí, que, que así vamos a empezar. Parte de la estructura, con ejemplos adicionales, siempre los voy a presentar en algo, en PowerPoint, y luego la práctica va a ser basada en, man, en el manual, los ejercicios del manual y el vocabulario relacionado siempre a lo que hay en el manual, porque esa es nuestra guía de trabajo. Ya, yeah, that's, sí, that's, correcto, that's, así es. Exacto, entonces Exacto. así vamos a hacer, así vamos a estar haciendo y va a ver que poco a poco vamos a ir haciendo eso. Bueno, excelente, ¿Ves? teacher, le agradezco mucho los minutos extras. Ay, right, ya sabe que para eso estamos. Ok. <risa> bien, entonces, nos vemos mañana, ¿ok? Ok, right. All right, bye bye, good night.